Hey, Ono Smokestack fans, Johnny C. from New Jersey. Uh, there was a question raised on the uh, forum about how the glow plug and the preheat plug and all that works for a DJA, a 3.0 DJA. Uh, some think that by hitting the uh, start button, uh, the preheat plug and uh, the glow plug may be energized. Others don't think that. I really don't know. Uh, on our control panel, and I apologize for this crappy video because I got sun behind me and you probably see shadows and all. On our panel here, we have a, uh, a switch here. If I push it down, the glow plug, uh, the pre plug will light up. Yeah, and I'll show you that in a moment. And as well as the glow plug for the uh, cylinder here. Uh, this is our start and stop switch. So basically what they're saying is, okay, I got to preheat this for about 30 seconds or so, because this thing is cold. I haven't started it yet at all today. And when I release this, and when I hit the start button, uh, we should still have current going to our, uh, our preheat plug and our glow plug, because they're wired together in line. What I have here, I have my flute meter uh, set to DC. We should get about 12 volts or something like that, or close to it depending upon how good my battery is, uh, once I hit the preheat. And after I, when I release the preheat and I hit the start button, if uh, what they're saying is correct, I should see 12 volts again at these points right here, okay? Uh, we got 12 volt positive here when uh, energized and this should be ground, okay? So here we go, okay. Let's, uh, and hopefully these uh, leads will stay on. Uh, these DJAs shake bad, okay. So let's do some preheat here, okay. Uh, not really counting, actually. Uh, hopefully we'll see, okay, the glow plug. Okay, there is the preheat plug, it's lighting up, okay. The glow plug in the cylinder you can't see, but that should also be getting warm. By the way, the temperature outside right now is probably like about hmm, 65, 70 degrees. Okay, we're gonna keep this going. Again, this is the preheat plug. Uh, what do we got for voltage? We got just a little slightly less than uh, 12 volts. This takes a lot of current. I got a big Fukin battery back there going. All right, uh, okay, we still got the heat going. I don't know how many seconds that is, but that's probably about 20 seconds or so. But in a moment, I'm gonna let go of this preheat switch right here. I gotta push down. Then I'm gonna take this thing. I forgot if I gotta go up or down. I painted this whole thing so all the uh, lettering is off. But one way it's not going to do anything the other way it's going to start spinning the motor but again if uh what they're saying when i hit the start button after releasing this uh i should still have current going okay so here we go i think we got enough on there so i'm going to release this okay here we go because this thing is loud. I can't run it too long. We got the cooling tins off of it. Uh, let me shut her down. Okay. Well, we got something going on over there. We got fire or something. Uh, got some emergency signal going, but that's not us. I'm not concerned. So if you saw the meter, that is true. Okay, when I released the preheat button, okay, I did see the uh, preheat plug uh, uh, dying down as far as intensity, the cherry redness. But when I hit the start button, I saw voltage going there. Okay, so that is true then. And also, you know, uh, I guess uh, it's working. All right, that's interesting. Okay, in fact, I'm going to do it again. All right, so here we go. I don't, okay, we're going to preheat. All right, we'll get this uh, little cherry red right here. As you can see, we got 12 volts. Okay, if I release it, by the way, you'll see nothing. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we got a little less than 12 volts. We got this right here. All right, I'm going to release this. Okay, now I'm going to push this up to start it. As you can see, we got nothing. That's it. All right, I'm going to shut her down. And 
what I noticed, I don't know if the video caught it or not, when I released the preheat button, the cherry redness of the uh, glow plug died down a bit, but when I hit the start button, immediately I saw this glowing uh, more intensely. Uh, and of course, that means we had voltage, and I confirmed it on there. So that's it, yeah, definitely. So when I start this DJA, after I give it 20, 30 seconds of preheat, I can release it. I don't need to hold it on when I actually hit the start button. Uh, with its uh, bigger brother, the DJB, okay, this is a little different than most DJBs because this was a motor that I got off Craigslist, whatever. It's not even meant for a generator. We bolted it up, but basically the controls are this. I got to hit the preheat button and then the start button, okay? Uh, I don't know if it says right here or not, but basically i got to keep the uh, preheat button engaged when i hit the start button uh to make this thing start uh i guess good <laughs> otherwise it may uh you know sputter a little bit i don't know i don't even think this thing's connected if it was i'd fire it up but anyway getting back to the dja that's the that's it okay so uh here we are anyway uh sooner or later we'll get this thing all together and uh We'll have this thing uh, loaded and running uh, hopefully in a week or two. All right, that's it. Johnny C. from New Jersey. You all have a nice day. Bye.